to us. Okay, so now we'll go through Saito Sensei's Kensuburi, seven of them, uh, our interpretation. So from here, the most important one, fundamentally, number one, cut. Okay, so there's so much in a cut, this is a lifetime of practice in and of itself. So don't discount this in cutting. Okay, number two. Okay, so I like to see number one in all of these. So always come to number one through to finish all these others. So number two, here, here. Okay, here, here. So you can see the line, my Ashi Sabaki, off the line. Okay, so, Jodan, cut. Okay, try and do the best cut you've ever done, always. So, third Saburi, come through number two, and then back into this posture. And then, through number two again, and to cut. So don't rush this. Things to watch out for, abbreviating and bringing this over like that. That's not what we want. Okay, so I need to come through here and then back to here and then come through that point again to cut. So if we come back to one, we're at this point, cutting. Number two, we come through that point to cut. Number three, we still want to come through that point to cut. So we're doing a nice cut. Number one is the most important, so we always want to have a, a good shamanuchi. Number four can be done a couple of ways. We tend to start it formally, so dynamically, itch, ni, son. Okay. If you've got less space, you can do it a little bit more statically. So from here, cut, 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 cut. Okay, so my Kaisabaki dynamically, from here, I come in, off the line, in, off the line. If I'm doing it statically, do this movement on that first cut, which we call tension. Feet together and back. Feet together and back. So I'm not changing position, but I'm coming off the line, off the line. And with Yono Saburi number four, we're just cutting. Cut. 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 Okay, Gono Suburi, you can do very similarly. Dynamically, from here, cut. Hirigaish, cut. Hirigaish, cut. Statically, same, cutting. Bending. did our Saburi set the other day and we really drilled down how we defend so we want to put that in action here. So defend, turn the blade, feet together, cut. Turn the blade, feet together, cut. Now be mindful of your practice if you want to focus on controlling the line. Sensei Boye likes us to stay on the line and control, that's fine. As long as you're doing that Mindfully and deliberately. Okay, if you want to work on not being on the line, then you can very clearly come either side. So whatever you're working on or the teacher says, 
that's okay, just be clearly able to do one or the other. So number six, here, ha, ski, you guys, ski. You can do that quasi statically. So from here, cut, ski, feet together, cut, ski, feet together, cut, ski. Either or, depending on your space, but dynamically is best. My ski needs to come straight up. So don't retract your hands at all, straight. Then bend, straight. And again, depending on what you're working on, you can be very clear about not giving up my. So it might feel comfortable pulling the sword back here, stepping in and cutting. Okay, ski, pull back, cut. But unless you're working very statically, you should be trying to press here in. Keep the kasaki where it is, come under, through. Okay, depending on how much room you've got. And number seven. Here, cut, backward ski. Cut, backward ski. Cut, backward ski, cut, backward ski. Then I recommend when you're practicing these, you switch. Okay, so I've done a set in classical kamai, migi kamai, and now I'm going to do hidari kamai. My hands have changed, so normally here, here, and then number one. Number two. So, the 20 Josaburi, as you go through the Q grades, we break them into sections you need to know. So, for fifth Q, you need to know the first five. So, our interpretation of this, okay, is Chudanski. Boom. Again, Chudanski. So, that's number one. Kaishitski. Okay, number two, we have a Gate group. So, Chudanski here, Junte. To Kaishitsuki. From here, turning my body. Turning my body. Okay, so my feet are coming in slightly with my hip. Try and use this to develop your Aikido body. So really pay attention to not using your hand too much. Okay, so a lot of people go for power, wind up, come in. And they get all up in the shoulder. And if you look at the tip of the weapon, it goes away from my partner, my enemy, and then back towards. So that's like me punching you like that. So I need to just turn my hand shoulders off as I turn my body. Okay, then my back hand powers the kaishitsuki. Okay. And at the end, a nice alignment between your feet 
the end of your weapon. Okay, so that's number two, Kaishitsuki. San Hombei, number three, Ushirotsuki, Gatai again. Okay, so I'm pushing away and then back. Okay, lots of interpretations, but this is what I need to see. So again, from here, Gatai grip, push away, back. Okay, when you do this, make sure it goes flat, horizontal. So it's chambered against my forearm. My hand has come here, and then I bring it back until my forearm hits my belly. So this should be straight back. I don't want it here, or here, or here. So, San Hombei, number three. Ushiro Tsuki, up. Okay. Yon Hombei, number four. Tsuki, get on Kaishi. So I'm doing number one, and then here, and then here. So a way of interpreting this, not the way, a way, is to someone coming in front, I ski them. Okay, they go down. There's someone coming here. So I change my feet and I slide the joe through to maybe impact them on their knee. Bang. And then this person is recovering, through. Okay, so again, try and embody your principles. So from here, ski. And just keep this you, this extension in your arms, and find your power with your hip. So be careful, beginner's mistakes. People are here, here, and then they bring this back for power and use their upper body. Okay, so let's try not to do that. So, each knee up. This is the fourth suburi. Ski, Keira, Kaishi. And again, I hopefully am finishing in good Kamai. Nice extension. Okay, I should be able to roll on that arm. And number five, Go no Suburi. I'm transitioning from Joe posture into Sword posture. So from here, Ski, Joran, Kaishi. Ski, Joran, Kaishi. So the hand transition is tricky, so we touch on this with the Kessa attack, but an exercise you can do is transitioning end hand to middle hand and switch, end hand to middle hand and switch. If I switch the other way I don't have enough leverage, one, two. So slowly, one, two, as my hips come under and my hips change, my hands change, and then show. Be messy, try and do the best shaman you've ever done in your life. Okay, so from here, ski, jodan, push. Number one, chudan ski. Number two, kaishi ski. Number three, ushiro ski. Number four, ski, keidan kaishi. And go no suburi. Ski, Jodan, Kaishi. Finishing in Ken Kamai. Okay, shall we start?